It's just been one of those years, but if you can't get up for a game like this, Coach Zimmer said that I'm doing something wrong. Joe? All right, Aaron. Well, on the return, it's Kristen Michael who can really go. And Michael almost made the 30. Not turned the ball over during this four-game win streak. Handoff is to Ty Montgomery, and he will cut up field. And you know the story about Ty by now. And there's his strength, just refusing to go down. Because he wasn't getting any playing time as a receiver. But boy, he has run the ball very well. Second down and five. Rodgers protected, and there's Jordy Nelson for a first down. Two teams met in week two, and Nelson is like a different guy compared to early in the season. Out of the backfield, Montgomery. And he levels Sendejo. Full day defensively at home against the Colts last week. Here's a handoff to Montgomery. Good play. Hopefully he can come back and be stronger for it. Second and 11. Quick throw. Kristen Michael out on the edge in a well-defensed play. 319! Quick throw. Cook. Good tackle. It's Daniil Hunter who brings down Jared Cook, and that'll bring about fourth down. He's on third and long. He's a master at the hard count. He tries to draw him off sides. They hang in there, and they force a punt. Shum punts it. And over end. Janice can't get to it. In percentage, it would be record setting if it holds. But a lot of short throws. And this, an inaccurate throw to Stefan Diggs to start his day. Here this afternoon, a lot of moving parts. It's changed a lot from when this team last met. The Green Bay Packers. Feeling out on the edge. Got around the initial tackle of Quentin Rollins. Just came across. He plays on obvious passing downs. It's third and four. Pass to the sideline, broken up or dropped. It's Jarek McKinnon. Out here for this offense to start the game. And a drive that lasted less than a minute. For it takes it inside the 30, able to leap one player and knock down at the 39. 19. 19. But Aaron Rodgers is red hot. Second time he's had it, throws Devontae Adams. Two big drops last week at Chicago. Didn't drop this one. Oh, and it creates some holes in that defense. They fake it to Montgomery. Wide open for the catch, Geronimo Allison. And this guy will become a weapon for Aaron Rodgers. Allison gets in behind him on the crosser. Adams has his second catch. Prior to that, Aaron Rodgers had gone six for six and had found six different receivers. And with his quarterback. Celebrating his 24th birthday here on the 24th of December. Christmas Eve, pass caught. And then the immediate tackle by Chad Greenway. Play clock almost expired. Pass caught. Nelson. Jordy Nelson. Touchdown. The league in touchdown catches. Let's make sure he was in. He's in. Touchdown, Green Bay. Fading zones, and Aaron Rodgers has exploited it. 7-0, and how about Aaron Rodgers? 9 for 9. Nelson, who has 13, and, and he's like a different guy after getting healthy in the second half of this season. Coming up that torn ACL. Here's Thielen on the return, and after that short kickoff, Thielen takes it to the 30. From the 31, fake it to McKinnon. Bradford is protected. Now McKinnon gets it out of the backfield, room to run. And Jarek McKinnon... We'll take it to midfield and maybe to the 49 of Green Bay. Here's McKinnon. Nice spring to his step. Gets a block on the edge and picks up a first down. Bradford, Thielen, pass caught. And with the spot, that's enough for another Viking first down. Gunter on the tackle. Fumble. We'll see what happens on this drive. Three straight first down plays for the Vikings. Bradford to his right. Pass is caught for the fourth consecutive first down. It's Thielen. He's had himself a nice year, and someone who is in his third season 
Drags his right toe. It's a good catch. Extending himself and making the play. First and goal, Asiata will carry, and Matt Asiata will take it to the four. Bradford, end zone, off the hand of Thielen. Third down and goal. Pass is knocked down, and there's Matthews, and people have questioned why. Only two-yard try by Forbath. Blair Walsh kicking for the Vikings when these two met in week two. Now it's four back. Legs feel good. Forget what they tell you. It's when they practice during the week that you know they're healthy, and that was the deal with Aaron Rodgers this week for Green Bay. Here is Michael. Kristen Michael to the 25, the 26. How about the dude chunking that cheese hat? <laughs> Give me that. Monte Adams started this play in the backfield, and Rodgers finds Jordy Nelson, who was left alone, and he's down inside the 30. But Nelson. It's nine straight pass plays, and the first incompletion right there to Devontae Adams, and Rodgers, I think, raised his hand like, that one's on me. And a great free safety in Harrison Smith. This one dropped off for Montgomery. Montgomery to the 20. Mike Zimmer has his safety back in Harrison Smith. Good protection. Adams. Touchdown. What a throw. It's outstanding work because they go one-on-one -on, -one on the outside and Rodgers liked the matchup right from the snap. He knew exactly where he was going with the football. Devontae Adams, it's down. But the Packers now come away with two touchdowns in the first quarter. And lead it 14-3 to as they try to win their fifth straight. Oh, like the other great quarterbacks in this league, when you're able to put the ball where you want to, as Rodgers is right now and during this hot streak, Makes it awfully tough on anybody. Rodgers holding on to the football, and the protection's been good again to start this game. Here's Asiata on first down. A little stutter step and out to the 30. But then Bradford slows it down a bit, allows Green Bay to get set. Out on the edge, Asiata drops it. Wasn't much out there anyway. Third down and five is the result. Saw the offensive effort in the first half last week against the Colts. Here is a good throw, and what a catch in traffic by Thielen. Bradford downfield. Thielen, what a throw, and what a catch for Adam Thielen. Demarius Randall, he comes over because of the slot formation. Bradford has Rudolph. They can't get it. The have thrown the ball against him. On second and ten, handoff to McKinnon. Thomas on the stop, and that's how the first quarter will come to a close. Go! Bradford underneath, McKinnon. And McKinnon's going to pick it up. That is a big first down for the Vikings, as it seems like, and a flag comes in at the end of the play. It seems like they're in a shootout. After the play is over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 78 of the offense. The runner made the line of the game, so it'll be first and 10 after the penalty. Happens on this drive, but Mike Zimmer cannot be happy about that. Play action, Bradford pass is caught, and they get the yards right back. It's Rudolph with a first down. Guy that offensively, I know it's been a struggle, but he's been he's been good. Here's Thielen on an end around. And for a guy who left in the third quarter last week against Indy with a neck injury. Bradford in trouble and just got rid of it. Ellis in the target. Marco! Play clock expires, and that is inexcusable. Delay of game, offense, number eight. Five-yard penalty, still third down. He's been okay. He's still kind of learning some of the things, but costly five yards. Third and 11, sideline, Stephon Diggs. They're going to mark him out short of the first down. A one-possession game with three points here. 
And the 26-yarder knocked through by Kai Forbath. Thanks to Sarugis. As a kick from Forbath is headed down toward the Packer end zone. Taking a knee is Jeff Janis in an eight-point game. Rodgers continue to throw the ball. Montgomery cuts up field. I thought it was interesting when we sat with Ty and to me he was so excited he just wanted to say yeah I'm all in I I've been hoping for this move all along here he is again trying to get him rolling he slides gets a hit from Barr Rodgers you see how much better he's moving out to his right throws behind Montgomery Sean DePont it's a good one Forcing a fair catch from Marcus Sherrills. They got into their rooms late. That's not very comforting for a team. Bradford steps up, has a man, passes caught. And that's a former Green Bay Packer, Charles Johnson. The aforementioned quarterback is lined up at the top of the screen. Wildcat handoff to Asiata from Jarek McKinnon in a game of three. Second down and seven. The ball is out. It belongs to Green Bay. I don't think the ball ever even came up. It just rolls. It just never even, he never even has a grip on it. Kenny Clarkson happened last night as you documented, and then to have something like that offensively happen. Rodgers. Nelson to the 15. To the 10. Nine minutes left in the first half. Rodgers out to his right, fakes a throw and gets shoved out near the two. The pocket, last two weeks he's been able to be the Aaron Rodgers we know. Protected again, steps up, throws, touchdown, Nelson again. himself time and he's allowing these receivers then to get open and Jordy Nelson he does it better than anybody on this Packers team downs and has only two incompletions in the first half and a Jordy chant the Vikings have to try and keep pace in this shootout the drive will start the 25 for Sam Bradford. Uh, maybe if he came out and was optimistic, he'd take a little pressure off his team and allow them to play freer. And, and it has been something to watch here in the last four weeks offensively. Peter and saying, put the focus on me. I say we're going to run the table. And he likes the way the team has responded. Here's Thielen. Goodbye. Touchdown. No flags. And the Vikings keeping pace. How about the day for Adam Thielen? And he finds some Vikings fans to leap into. As good as Jordy Nelson has been for the Packers, Thielen has been as good for the Vikings. A heck of a job answering that touchdown. 142 yards, a touchdown. He's averaging just under 24 yards a catch. 2013 out of Minnesota State. He is their big play guy now in Minnesota. Kristen Michael's going to have to take it out. Couldn't make a clean catch and a flag flies. Call from Jeff Triplett. During the return, he looked block in the back. Number 25, the return team. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Starting from the six, here's Montgomery right side. Well played up front by the Vikings, and it's Anthony Barr, the NFC North. Second and seven for Rodgers. Pass caught. And that's the other Rodgers. Richard, and he leans out. They're going to mark him with enough for a first down. To address knowing you've got home field advantage throughout. On first down, it's Montgomery left side. And this Vikings defense, it looks like it should have been charged up. Knowing that they've got another week off, I mean, you've got to keep your edge. If they start resting guys now, that's a month off. Second and seven, and there's Jordan Nelson again. 
to their strength, and they've dominated them. Here's Jerry Cook. Cook across the 35, brought down by Kendricks to gain a five. Second and five, Rodgers is going to go down. Seth, and it's Hunter. Third round pick out of LSU last year. Neil Hunter, now third and 14, and down he goes again, Kendricks. He had to change it up, and Kendricks gets home. Two sacks to lose 19 yards of field position as Shum hits a high-hanging punt. And near the 40, Sherrills with a fair catch. Here comes Kurt Menefee with a sneak peek. From the 39, this game could get really interesting really fast. Asiata with a nice run on first down. He gets about nine and a half, 20 to 13. Handoff is to Asiata, and he's going to pound ahead for a first down. The main one is what's going on with the scoreboard here in the first half. Here's Asiata out of the backfield and a nice gain on first down. Where are they going to mark him? Just short of a first down. All three timeouts left for the Vikings. They fake the handoff and down goes Bradford. Packers have it. And it was Clay Matthews that knocked it out. And here he is after being relatively ineffective for the last five games. He's been effective. Wide open. Pass caught Allison. Flip. 48 seconds and all of their timeouts left. And Montgomery will force the Packers after that run. Second and eight. Rodgers. Nelson forced out inside the 10. End zone. And thrown away. Geronimo Allison, the closest one to it. Rodgers spins out. A ton of room in front of him. A move and a touchdown. There was a bust up front, and Rodgers just didn't anticipate it, but they had a free rusher with Griffin, and then combination for any defense to slow down, and the Vikings have not been able to. That is the 25th career rushing touchdown for the two-time MVP, Aaron Rodgers. And it is all smiles on the near sideline for the Green Bay Packers. Trying to win their fifth straight. Little pop-up kick. This is the tight end Morgan on the return. And David Morgan thrown to the ground after a return of 10 yards. Next to the Super Bowl. It was the Seahawks who went. And now they are one game away from running the table if they win here today. They don't get in. Atlanta did it last year. Atlanta in a good spot as we play here in week 16 and the drive for the Vikings starts at the 25 down to Aaron we go on the 25 Aaron's not finished by the way oh, here's Bradford going down again and it's Daniels who thumped him down in 19 we'll go back to Aaron in a second play clock at three and off to McKinnon out across the 20 third down coming up For this one batted away, I think Clay Matthews feels better. And he had one there right before the end of the first half, which led to seven points. Lots of money. Hyde waiting for it. Coming up to get it and slides with a catch. The 45-yard line for Green Bay up 15. They hand to Montgomery running right. I want to amend something that I amended in the first half. Rodgers with a four touchdown day. Three through the air, one on the ground. He's got all day. Cook. Out of bounds. Couldn't get the second foot down. As someone who can work the middle of the field. In Cobb not active with the injured leg. And Rodgers is set. Daniil Hunter again with Kendricks in there as well. It's a shared sack between Hunter and Kendricks. 
Each has a sack and a half in this game. Shum punts it. Fair catch called for and hauled in by Marcus Sherrill. Together and now after that hit by Daniil Hunter. Stretching it out again from the 13 yard line down by 15. Bradford fires and finds Thielen. He gets nine. Since that time, the turnovers have really hurt them. McKinnon breaks loose. On second down and one, Jarek McKinnon brought down by Blake Martinez after a gain of 11. Play the game when you're not able to use both hands. Hard count not working in the favor of the Vikings. False start, number 76, offense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. For the day. He left, was carted off in the first and Gunter to the, or rather, McKinnon to the 30, Gunter. Second down and 13, McKinnon again. Has to bounce it to the edge and he's tripped up by Martinez. Listen, who's been able to Shoot, he's played the last 13 games. Bradford, good protection, digs for a first down. 13 catch games, not much sense. Here's one, aired out downfield, a little contact. Charles Johnson, uh, then today he's been battling through a shoulder injury. Second and 10, Thielen gets it. Tackle will be credited to Quentin Rollins. Micah Hyde is there to clean up a gain of five, so a more manageable third down. Got to take a shot. Giving him a lot of cushion. Third down and five. Bradford out to his right. Flag flies. Pass caught. Asiata, but a flag is down. Right now, it's enough for a first down. But it looks like a hold against Minnesota. Holding number 68 offense. Take yard penalty. We keep third down. And guess who forced it? Third down and 15. Four-man pass rush. Pass is caught, but that's Rudolph way short. Here's Locke. On fourth and seven. He gets rid of it. High the bounce. Nice move. And Micah Hyde out near the 34 brought down by Sherrill's total. So good for the Packers. Good for Aaron. First down pass is caught by Nelson. And Jordy Nelson out to the 39-yard line. That punt, by the way, by Locke. We need Pete! We need to... Rodgers out to his left. Fires a fastball and Nelson off his hands and incomplete. Edge or often, but Jordy Nelson does a great job of getting open. Vikings defense needs to make a play. Here's Kendricks on the tackle of Ty Montgomery, and that will force a punt. The Vikings, if they can get something going, get a score, they're right back in it. Sherrill's will try and return it, and he is hit by Jeff Janis. Four punts. 15-point game starting from the 14. Bradford for Thielen. Incomplete. Recovery in this game with the Packers turned into seven. Second and ten. Here's McKinnon. And he doesn't go far. And there's Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark. And a lot of times that bodes well for that position. But he has really grown. Third down and eight. Aired out. The play is broken up. Good work by Demarius Randall. Routes. Very limited in what he's able to do as a receiver. Second three and out of their last three possessions for the Vikings. And here's Hyde from just inside the 45. Has room. Good return. Next test that they have to pass. Second time the Packers have started inside Viking territory. And Rodgers did well just to avoid the sack. Pass is incomplete. Third down and ten. Pass. Allison, what a catch. That was a beautiful grab by the rookie out of Illinois for a first down. But a flag comes in right at the end of the play. 
He used to hands, hands to the face. Number 98 in the defense. That penalty is declined, resulting in the play's first down. On the 33, here's Montgomery, nothing. Be with Ty Montgomery. He's fast. Does he have any room to show it? Takes it inside the 30 in a third and manageable coming up for Green Bay. Rodgers stays upright, gets the first down to Allison. And that's Aaron Rodgers at his best. Rodgers is playing as well as anybody in football right now. On first down, Rodgers out to his right. As Adams. And incomplete. 319! Second down. Rodgers has been doing this all day. Allison can't make a one-handed catch. No. They're down in 10, three rushers, and Rodgers goes down. Eric Kendricks gets through, but he wasn't alone, and Rodgers gets up hot. Crosby nails it. A lot of points over the last couple of games after a home loss. It was really disappointing. 65 points total over the last seven plus quarters of football for Mike Zimmer's team. Houston. Here's McKinnon right side. And he has not had much room to run. Care of it. See how he does. Second and nine. Quick throw. This is in the air and was in the air for a while off the helmet of Charles Johnson. Receptions at Chicago five on the year and he's a pro bowler. Third down and nine. Another short throw that's going nowhere, and Thomas is there to wrap up McKinnon. Situation in the game, knowing that you got to drive the ball down the field at times, too. Knuckling punt. This is a live ball. Hyde touched it. We'll see if he was able to get back on top of it. And it stays with Green Bay. Are set up leading by 18, starting at their own 47. They run it with Kristen Michael. Flag is thrown, and Michael is bent over backward by linebacker Anthony Barr. Here's the call. Holding, number 78, offense. 10-yard penalty, repeat first down. Go, go, go. First and 20 now after the hold, and this one is floated downfield and caught by Jared Cook. Of this season by the Vikings defense. Meanwhile, Brian Balaga came out after that last play. Pass is caught by Janice. 319! Rodgers has completed passes to eight different receivers. He finds Adams, who makes one tackler miss. He can't make the rest of the defense miss. He went around Harrison Smith. No game. A load all year. And I just think it's finally taken its toll the last two games. Two fullbacks in there for Green Bay on third and two. And a pass caught by Nelson for a first down. <laughs> that, that's what you're thinking, huh? First down for Green Bay. Here's Michael. Kristen Michael takes it inside the 20. Second down and seven. Cook. Zone incomplete. Covered by Kendricks. One. Flags. This could be for anything. Delay a game. Offside. Here it is. Neutral zone infraction. Defense number 97. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Good. Go to him here. This is touchdown Richard Rodgers a flag at the end of the play ball which he does and he puts it right on him. that's a, After the a score, really good job by Rodgers personal Rogers. foul number 34 in the defense hit in the helmet of the receiver after he scored that 15 yard penalty would be enforced on the kickoff kind of taken over as the primary weapon at the tight end spot 
Crosby knocks it through, and it's a 38 to 13 game on America's Game of the Week. 50. After the penalty on Sendejo. For the division. Pass is caught by Patterson. He gets about 10. They're going to give him enough for a first. Yeah, so for as well as Matt Ryan has played, he's been brilliant. Here's Bradford going to run. Slide. Who could knock off the number one seed at Dallas Cowboys? I'm with you on Atlanta. Second and five. Bradford throws. Pass caught by Thielen. Did he get enough for a first down? Demarius Randall on the stop. And Matt Ryan pulling the trigger. Yeah, they're going to be a tough out. Here's McKinnon for the first down to midfield. Three points, they cut it to five, and instead they go in at half down 15, and they just haven't been the same since. Bradford has to scramble from the 49. Pass to McKinnon underneath, and a nice sure tackle made by Thomas. But I think Dom Capers, he'll give those underneath throws if that's all that Bradford's going to take. Now it's fourth down, pass broken up. Diggs was the target. Fourth down and four. Pass caught, Thielen, who else? Got a first down. And then got a big hit by Quentin Rollins. Rock solid surface along the sideline. Here's Asiata. Spinning to the 25, brought down by Burnett. 48. Here's a pass caught underneath by Asiata. Takes it to the 10. Run down by Morgan Burnett. 25 points. It is first and goal. Pass is off the hands of Kyle Rudolph. Nickel corner is good off the edge. Second down and goal. Asiata breaks one tackle, takes it to the three. They lost Ladarius Gunter to an elbow injury. Talking about Green Bay secondary. Extra men on the rush. Pass is caught by Diggs for the touchdown. Here. The press on the outside. Diggs lines up in the slot. He goes to the corner, and, and Bradford puts it out there. Was had a chance for a souvenir walking out of Lambeau today on Christmas Eve. And off the right upright, off the foot of Kai Forbath. Definitely in the MVP conversation. For Bath instead of the onside kick, kicks it deep, and Ty Montgomery will bring it back for Green Bay and take it to the 25. Relegated to it's just at the end of these ball games. Here's Michael over the right side. Terrence Newman is there to greet him. Probably a little too late for the MVP voting. Second and 13. Not there with Allison down the sideline, so the clock is stopped with 3.59. And, and he would get my vote. 1,551 rushing yards, 13 touchdowns to lead the NFL in his rookie season behind that great offensive line in Dallas. Funk start, offense. Five-yard penalty, still third down. Nikhil Elliott is really good. Yeah, the line's great, but Elliott is... Sensational. Here's Kristen Michael. Even if they lose that game, they play at home against the Green Bay Packers. If they win that, they go one game in front of Green Bay and win the North. That's in week 17. Here's Sheryls on the return. And a good return to the 35. Struggling in Minnesota. The ground game was non-existent. Here's one to McKinnon juggle with a catch and that's not going to do much franchise running back adrian peterson week two and of course the injuries at the offensive line position just proved to be way too much for this team to overcome bradford is sacked and it's nick perry who has his team leading ninth sack of the year still very blurry he can't really make out anything in front of him with that right eye he even questioned whether he was going to wear some sunglasses today because he's still very very sensitive to the light guys back and but for these head coaches, tremendous amount of stress, and you'll never convince me that some of what Zim's dealt with hasn't had something to do with the stress of the job. 
You know, this game will end, and you always talk about the victors, and Jordy Nelson will be the one who's discussed, but Adam Thielen's had a nice day. Here's Diggs underneath. I know a new audience just joined us. Sure that there was no head injury, and so she's back. Second down and six. Handoff is to McKinnon. Now for the Vikings. Third and a yard and a half. Bradford. End zone broken up. Ha ha, Clinton Dix broke it up. Target was Kyle Rudolph for this defense. Fourth down and two. Here is Rudolph. He's got the first down at the one. It'll be first and goal from the one. Here's McKinnon. Flag flies. I don't know about that formation. I don't think the Vikings did either. <laughs> Illegal formation. Offense. The white man was off the line and uncovered and ineligible. Five yard penalty, still first down. With Bradford back there in the shotgun by himself, first and goal. Bradford out to his right, throws back and out of the back of the end zone for Rudolph. And the flag is down. Holding. Number 62, offense. 10-yard penalty. Repeat. First down. Man, this is a nightmare. They get to the one. Pass is caught. Rudolph inside of the 10. 135 total yards in this game to the Packers, 348. Bradford, end zone for the touchdown. And it's Thielen again. Well, Thielen works that back line, and with this reception, he has over 200 yards receiving for the afternoon. It's a great performance. It's going to get lost in the final score, but on the year one for two and two-point tries of the Vikings, it's McKinnon. Won't get there. Just home field advantage throughout. What, what does Detroit do? Uh, Monday night. You know, are they going to rest some players or are they going to play it with full strength? The onside kick recovered by Minnesota. Take another look. It was off a Green Bay Packer. It was off Blake, Blake Martinez. Martinez. I thought it might have hit a Viking before it went 10 yards, but it was off Martinez. On first down, Bradford finds Patterson to midfield. Hawks. It's hard to be that consistent year in and year out, but those three franchises in particular have been. Here is Rudolph. A lot of different people, you know, that they've done it with. I think that's the thing that impresses me the most about the Patriots. Uh, another sack for Perry is second of the game. And that'll do it. Good night to week 16 for the Green Bay Packers, the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are eliminated, and the Packers have won five straight. And they'll play at Detroit next week on Sunday for the NFC North. The game ends on a sack. And the day for Aaron Rodgers, four touchdowns plus a touchdown run. And Jordy Nelson, nine catches, 154 yards, two touchdowns. Kurt, all yours back in L.A.